from Toma Chain here. We've been seeing a lot of your questions in the community chat, so we thought that we'd start a new series, a video series, where we could start to address those questions on a more regular basis. So I'm honored to be here on, to answer the very first question in this series, and it's about master notes. The question is about how should we think through the process of master notes resigning? Is it a problem? And I really think it's actually a very healthy process. Uh, the thing is, if you look at life cycles um, of any product or service, and that includes Tomo Chain, you will have your early adopters who will come in, and then eventually there is a point where they'll exit, right? Each person, each group has a different lifespan within that life cycle. And we're starting to see that. We've been seeing that over the last few weeks, right? They're new entrants and they're people that are exiting. And, I, and so the focus really, I think, is more about should be about the composition of the master nodes. So let's go back 12 months. 12 months ago, and yeah, it's been about a year, right, since we launched into mainnet, it's pretty awesome. So at that time, most of it, uh, the master node network was being run by community. Um, the community ran most of the master nodes. But why were we doing it? We were doing it, I think, because we believed in Tomo Chain. We believed that this public blockchain could be massive one day. And we all suspected that we were getting in very early. So it would be very valuable for each of us to be running a master node, for those of us who are running them. But one thing we didn't realize was that how quickly that master, the master node network would transition from purely community to a mix with corporations, with large companies that are taking a stake in Tomo Chain. And that's really what we started to see. Initially, we had like Neo Global Capital. We, started, we saw CoinGecko come in, HashCorp, Kobo Wallet, and KuCoin running 15 plus masternodes. It's pretty crazy, right? It shows the credibility of Tomo Chain, and it shows that these are long term bets that Tomo Chain will be that massive blockchain moving forward. And as we move into 2020, we're going to start to see more companies coming in to run masternodes. That is, I think, what we should really be thinking about. It's, it's pretty tremendous how fast it's been moving, right? So the fact is that we have a very healthy group of masternodes securing the network, and we're gonna start to see more attention being paid to our masternode network, to our public blockchain. We're going to see more use cases. We have Tomo Z, which is already live, Tomo X, which is coming in, privacy function protocol that we'll be launching next year as well. And there are more surprises along the way. So as you move into the holiday season, I think we're in pretty good shape with how Tomo Chain is doing. And we're gonna have plenty of surprises coming into the new year. So I hope you have a very happy holiday. And to continue this series, please ask your questions in the comments below and for the next series, next set of episodes, we'll be taking from those questions and answering them. So whatever you have, put them in the comments. Thank you very much for the time. And I look forward to doing more of these, hopefully in the future with you guys. Take care.